Welcome to Cindy E. Eats. I'm Cindy. Hey. Amen, amen, amen. If this is your first time joining me, thank you for stopping by. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Welcome back to all my OGs, my aunties, my uncles, my brothers, my cousins, my nieces, my nephews, my grandmas, my grandpas. Come, come, come. What we got? We got that chicken big mac yes i'm finally trying it it's been out for a month yes i'm late oh well she look like she looking like we're gonna hold her up and see what we got my god Fix myself a little bit. Chicken Big Mac. Is we wasting time today? Are we going to waste <coughs> any time today? I guess a little bit. Let me bite her. I took two big bites of dryness. So, is it disgusting? No. Was it what I was expecting? No. Do I understand why they made the choice they make? Yes. Mm hmm It's two nuggets. Mm hmm Tastes just like a chicken nugget. You know, my nuggets are crispy, right? So, I get it. I understand probably why they made that choice. And I know why people are upset. Because we was all definitely ex expecting to have the McChicken filet on the Big Mac, right? Because that's what we have been doing. The hat came around. People took to make uh chickens and put it on the on the on the on the Big Mac and it was delicious. Or you get the McChicken and add Mac sauce. 
delicious. The mac chicken appears meaty. Got a little spice to it, a little kick to it. No, some people say no kick. It, it definitely has a peppery taste to it. That offset that, you know, sweetness of the Big Mac sauce and then the tangy with the pickle. Like, I get it. But do you think two McChicken fillets would cost the same as much as Big Mac? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It was about it was about uh dollars for McDonald's putting the McChicken nugget, the chicken nugget on there. Versus that uh yeah. I will say it's dry than the summer gun. And I'm going to do what I usually do to my regular Big Macs, which is put a little barbecue sauce on it. Even though I eat hot mustard with my McNuggets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not better. How y'all doing today? She's just doing okay. I shall not and will not complain. This is the high seat orange. I know I ain't putting out my number one video last last week, and I appreciate. At my last look, sixty eight people who looked at it, and a few of y'all that who commented it. I appreciate every last one, y'all. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, greatly appreciate it. This has been working over time. I've been working six days a week. I'm scheduled for five. But I work every day except Sunday. Every day but Sunday. Every day, at least an hour over my scheduled shift. I've been going to work on Wednesdays for no less than four hours. I usually be due about four, at least six. Now, when I'm really pushing it, this last Wednesday, I did nine. I worked nine hours last Wednesday. Saturday, I work till we close, which is 7 p.m. I go in at 8. And to be quite honest, if I didn't have to pick Lauren up Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, I would probably be in there working till six or seven o'clock most days but Lauren goes to the boys and girls club and they close at seven hmm. that was sweet and sour sauce I'm going to take 30 minutes to get there because of traffic.
If I know I didn't need rest, I would go to work today. Okay? I would go to work today. Not the whole day. Just a couple of hours. Today is Sunday, by the way. November 3rd. New month, new blessings, new beginnings, new endings. New endings. Don't bring them problems from last month to this month. Don't bring the stuff you was worrying about last month to this month. Don't do it. No, I know some things are avoidable. It may be bills. But if it's a person, goodbye. If it's a place, goodbye. If it's a habit, goodbye. We have less than 60 days to a new new year. Get, get rid of your garbage now. A fly. Get rid of your garbage now. Whatever it is, get rid of your garbage. You ain't got to wait till the new year. You ain't got to wait till the new year. I'm going to get on my shirt. If you can't control it, let it go. If it's within your control, take charge. But no, there ain't nothing in this world you can't do with the power that resides in you that was given to you by your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Later on, but when I get finished this video, I'm going to share the message of church today. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. It's just some things you have to make up your mind to do. Regardless of who, what, when, and where. You got to. Especially if it's things that's been bugging you. Things that hurt you. Things that weigh you down. Things that boggle your mind. Especially if they ain't in your control. You can't control nobody but you. Let me say again, you can't control nobody but you. And this is not just your body. This is your mind. Nobody in the world makes you mad. You get in your feelings and get yourself mad. Very much true, very much true. Even with sadness. As much as we like to say we can't control sadness, we can control sadness. One of the biggest, one of the, I think the biggest things people get sad for is in mourning. Somebody's gone that's no longer here with us. If you don't have access to them, it makes you sad. You let it make us sad. 
There's no way in the world if you are a child of Jesus Christ that you sad about it. Because hopefully they went on to glory. That's your mission here. Get the glory. Spread the good news. And go on on to heaven with your father. I know it gets me in my feelings. Is that I'm not living the life I'm supposed to be living. I shouldn't be working all these hours. I should not be giving that job so much of my time. Cause I feel like I'm always behind. When really, if I can just gain more control over my spending, then mind y'all, I'm not out here buying Gucci, Louis, and none of that stuff. I'm not out here going to see Mary J. Blige and Future and you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing all that. I'm not giving the church all my money. I'm not doing that. I'm not giving my kids money. I'm not doing that. I'm not at McDonald's every day. I'm not doing that. I'm not skipping my rent to go do something and get caught up, you know what I'm saying, get behind on my rent. I'm not doing that. Everything is a little bit more expensive, not even a little bit more, a lot more expensive. And I may need to skip some things. Like, I didn't have to buy this McDonald's. I did. But I did. Having a little bit self, more self-control going to the grocery store. And it's not even that I grocery shop a lot, y'all. I, I don't even fully grocery shop. Not picking up everything I want. Just, you know what I'm saying? Stop spending more. Even if it's just a little bit, a decrease in it. You know what I'm saying? So I can just build on from the, to the next time. And then build on and then build on and then build on. so that I can build up a little cushion. Like, people call it meal planning, but you know what I'm saying, just budgeting accordingly, so I'm buying my lunch and my dinner. <clears throat> You're not going to the store every day. You spend more when you go to the store every day. Like, I went two days in a row for breakfast to the grocery store. I could have bought the breakfast for two days in one day, but I did. What was the breakfast? 
Chobani flips. They was five for five. Why didn't I just pick up five? But I picked it up one day with something else. Went back and picked it up another day and something else. Like yesterday, Saturday, I bought the Chobani five for five. There's two co-workers that I'm really cool with. As in, you know, we share, we bring each other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Very mutual. Friday morning, one of them bought breakfast biscuits for all of us. That was nice, right? So I said, I'll bring us some Chobani. Everybody said they like yogurt. So I'll bring us, because they five for five. But I like to put raspberries, blueberries, blackberries in my yogurt. Because the Chobani flip come with the little granola type stuff. Put the little fruit on there, it'd be bomb, okay? The little pack of fruit was $5. So what am I, eight bucks? And I said, oh, let me get this pack of chips for him, and I'm going to get that for her, and then I'm going to get this. That's what I got to stop. Not saying being nice is a bad thing, because the Lord definitely do share. You know what I'm saying? Not saying. That's the type of stuff I got to stop doing. And then I get the berries. Of course, I share the berries. But this is the end of the day, and I don't even take the berries home. I'm not giving them to somebody else. Okay, that's the type of stuff I gotta start spending on. Okay, just a little bit more self restraint to get me a little bit more further. You know, what I'm saying if I could decrease right here, then I can increase over there. So I can make it. You know what I'm saying? I want to offer congratulations to Tanja's world. I gotta tell her on her video, but congratulations on your new. Home purchase boo you know what i'm saying i that's the self self restraint and control i need so i i want to buy me a home i want to buy me a home there are programs out there that assist with that but i need to have money too you know what i'm saying i need i want to buy a home i will go without something for so long but then spend money on something stupid that's the real issue okay I will keep going without, keep going without, keep going without, but then be like, oh no, I'm going to buy this right here, baby. Ooh. Then I get at home and be like, why did you buy this? Even buying this Big Mac. It was okay. Was it the best? No. It wasn't the best. The patties make the sandwich dry. You know they skipping on the sauce, so they want you to say extra sauce, so you got to pay for it. The patty soaking up all the sauce, making this whole sandwich dry. No, that little bit of barbecue sauce helped it. It wasn't good with the spin salad. If I wanted again, I would actually order a meal meat chicken, then put some Big Mac sauce on it. Okay, you could have kept that McDonald's, you could have kept that. So I gotta make up my mind to do better. And because of my savior, I am gonna do it, okay? Because I made up my mind that I no longer like cabbage. I don't like cabbage. I made up my mind that I don't really like macaroni and cheese no more. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like grits no more. 
I made up my mind. I don't like it no more. I don't want to eat it no more. I made up my mind that I'm not drinking soda no more. I'm not going to drink it. And it's not because I don't love a good soda. But when I drink soda, sis get indigestion and heartburn real bad. Soda. I get it. I guess at this point my body has decided soda is not available to you any longer. Because as soon as I drink a soda, my uh, digestive tract be shut down for about two weeks. Okay? Two weeks. I be having all the pain up in here. My stomach stay bubbling. It just don't settle right. Can't even eat. I can't drink something no more. That's a decision that I'm making my mind up because I don't want to suffer any longer. Okay, why would I keep torturing myself with that? Because I want to enjoy the soda. It's been over a month since I have a, had a soda, okay? I drink sodas. I was drinking soda sparingly anyway. But then it comes sometimes I might do good. And I drink any soda, right? For a good month. And then I decide I'm gonna take a sip of this soda. That a, you know what I'm saying? Just a sip. And that sip be so good, especially when you're not at a good meal, and that sip be so good. I'm like, I'm gonna have another sip. Take that sip. Be like, all right, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more. But then you go get a good meal. And you say, ooh, this meal deserves a soda. I'm going to go ahead and get a soda. This is a couple of days later. I ain't going to drink the whole soda. I'm going to drink half the soda. But then you end up really drinking three quarters of the soda. Then you have another good meal the next day. Ooh, I need a soda for this meal too. Ooh, let me get a soda. So instead of buying one soda, you buy a six pack. Now you got a six pack of soda. Now you done had six good meals and six sodas over the next course of a week. You didn't drink a soda every day. Or you want to mess around and drink two sodas in one day. And within that week, boy, you just start the belching and the bubbling and the <laughs> then your stomach get the hurt and then it's twisting in the Why am I putting myself in there? Why? And you know what? That's just like people. Just like people. You let the people get on your nerves. You let the people get in your mind. But you still keep going around them anyway. I got control over all of those things. And when I need help to get it done, to stay away, to keep pushing away, to not go into temptation. Because it, no man has not been tempted above any other man. And the Lord has always provided you a way of escape. So he helped me escape right now the temptation of soda. We went to McDonald's and everybody got a soda but me. To be honest, this is my first sweet drink. I ain't had no juice. I had juice. Was it last week? No, those little Welch's juices. Those Welch's juices. I took a sip like, ooh. And from that sip, before that sip, I hadn't had soda probably two weeks. I mean, juice, soda, anything for two weeks prior to that. This is my first drink in a month. All I've been drinking is water. Not even water, enhanced water. You know, like, uh, I had bought a pack of Snapple. Drink packs, you pour in the water. I drank one of them. Because I'm making up my mind that the sweet drinks is what leads to the soda drinks. And I don't want soda no more. Because cutting that soda is going to help me lose weight. Okay? Cutting that soda is going to help me lose weight. And I'm just trying to keep on that same track of losing weight. Okay? I got a goal in mind. It's something that I need done. She's got a goal in mind. And she's trying to get it done before the end of the year. Okay? She's trying to get it done by the end of the year. 
So she gonna be shedding a few pounds. I ain't even really had no fast food. So I took uh, Lorna McDonald's. And I got me a four piece nugget. I ain't even buy no fries or eat nothing. And y'all know I love the french fry. These are my first french fries in about a week. Making up my mind. Make the important to my heart. Because you know, real decisions are not made with your mind. Real decisions are made with your heart. Your heart has experienced something that causes your mind to now make it a, a belief. A hard truth effect for yourself. That's what your heart do. You, your heart leads you. Your heart convinces your mind and your mind convinces you. Your subconscious. You know, I mean your consciousness. You know your heart was within your subconscious. And your subconscious and heart experiences things and put it into your head. And your head, your consciousness, live it out as actual fact and truth. Miles Monroe. Check him out. Miles Monroe. Check him out. His, his teachings are very much present in today's world. Okay. Find him on YouTube. And I know I still got to. I can tell you one winner. One winner is Nicole Smith. And I want to say the other one is T. Calder. I'm going to just go with that because. Nicole Smith put the lowest. Uh, the lowest test score and T. Calder put the highest test score. I want to say Nicole Smith said something like a 60 something. It was either 68 or 70 within that range. That was the lowest. T. said 98. What I actually put out was uh yeah, this was for quality, right? My highest score in quality was 100. Nobody believed that I, I, I did 100. I did 100 a couple of times. I just got 100 about a week ago. Altogether, I think I got three 100s. My lowest score, ain't even nobody gets that, not even the code. My lowest score was a 46. That's a complete fail. <laughs> it was a complete fail. But she ain't got one since. Okay. The lowest score I got right now is a nine. No. The lowest score I got right now is an 87. Which is still ain't failing. I've I've disputed two. I disputed two. One was like a 90 something. Both of them was like a 90 and a 91. Two of them, they two of them was disputed and they both brought me got got contested i won the contested i won the dispute one went up to a 94 and the other one went up to a 95 or a 96 you ain't got to tell me nothing but once i'm lying because i'm still hard-headed and i mess around and do it you know what i mean but you ain't got to tell me nothing but what but once okay because when you when you do good on those quality scores, right, you get a higher bonus. Sis need a bonus. Sis need a bonus. But you know what they did this last time? My last bonus, y'all. My last bonus was supposed to be two forty five. They still tax it. Two forty five. I didn't check my pay stub, but I only got a deposit of like seventy four dollars. That mean they didn't give me nothing but like eighty or ninety dollars. Cause it was still tax, so I'm gonna say about eighty something dollars. I ain't get nothing but a deposit of seventy something dollars. Yeah, they be playing real bad in there. They be playing real bad, okay? But they made up for it. When we work overtime, we get five dollars extra. I don't think it's five dollars per added, you know, hour added to the hour, but it's you know, like for every hour you do, you get an extra five dollars. I think I don't know how it works, I don't know how it works, but you get an extra five dollars, okay? In the last two, in the last 
Well, for overtime this past week, I did 10.9 some hours, almost 11 hours in overtime. I'm shooting for that again this week, even though I got to go vote. And Wednesday is Bible study. Sis might miss Bible study so she can sit in there and do her work and do work so I can get this money. I got a goal that I have to reach next week for my next pay period, okay? There's a goal that I have to reach for my next pay period. In order to reach that goal, I got to put in as much overtime as possible. And with the Lord's help, I will. And with the Lord's help, I will meet my goal. I will meet my need will be met, okay? Now, I know it's some of y'all that will pray against it, but I know I got a few prayer wars that's going to pray with me, for me, in the name of the Lord, and it shall happen because we are touching an agreement at this very moment that sis will get as many hours as she needs to fulfill the need that needs to be met with the help of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It will be over and beyond my goal in which I need that I want to meet, and then it will see the need that I need met. Okay, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. First person say amen. Get a cash app too. Give me your, give me, give me your, uh, give me your, uh, cash app. T. T. Calder. I got yours, Nicole. I'm gonna send it out. Okay. Don't beat me up if it's still late. But I got gotcha. you. The first person say amen. The first person say amen to my prayer that I just prayed. I got gotcha. you. This is out of here because it's been a minute. A minute and a half. I ain't even finished telling y'all that my sister is in town. She went to church with me today. My sister did. She in there fixing a good meal this Sunday morning. Not Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon. Let me fix my time. The time went back, baby. Sis thought it was 247. No, baby, it's 147. It ain't even 147. It's like 145. Because my clock is fast in the car. And yes, I'm sitting in front of my apartment building. Yes, in front of my apartment. Making this video. And what? Let me tell you what's on the menu. I ain't left yet, have I? She's still rambling. This is when the video get good to me. Okay? I don't know about nobody else. I know about somebody else, Nicole Smith. This is this is me and Nicole time, okay? This is me and Nicole time. Me and Nicole be vibing at this time. Because Nicole stick around. For it all and i appreciate you nicole so 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 much okay you probably gonna be the reason that sis get monetized she ain't monetized yet and that's the real reason sis be contemplating every week her youtube career she ain't monetized yet why are you monetized y'all help sis out come on y'all help me out help sis out get me there before the end of the year can y'all get me there for the end of the year let me get back to what uh, my sister cooking. It's a bee trying to get in my car. This was a lot, but it's all right. She picked up two fat rolls. Y'all won't even believe about five days ago at work, me and the people was talking about cooking rolls. Good God almighty, is he not around at all times? Listening and hearing it. We was talking about the greens. We was talking about potato salad. Guess what she making? Greens, potato salad, and roast, and a little chicken, and a little chicken. And who ain't gonna eat it up? I'm gonna eat it up. 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 Nicole, is you laughing with me? Is you laughing with me? I was, I was talking to Nicole. But if you laughing too, you can laugh too. You can laugh too. Too. This is what happens when sis drinks this stuff. This is a 40 minute video off of a chicken Big Mac that wasn't that good. And one drink, I ain't even eat all my fries. But it's I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, and for those who love me, may the Lord bless you and keep you and meet every need and want that you have in your life right now. In my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. 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 And even if you don't love me, 
I still love you. And I still want the best for you too. And the Lord can do it for you too. Right? But you got to get saved. If you ain't saved, get saved. But I'm going to go now because it's really been 40 minutes. And I got to get it uploaded. And you know, sis ain't taking no uh, cuts out. This is, this is who she is. This is who she is. My hair has grown so long. When I say the shrinkage be real, when I say that shrinkage be real, this is a fresh wash. And I don't do nothing but put oil in my hair. That's it. Ain't the Lord good? The Lord is good. Let me go, because it's about to click over to 41. And I'll let it. So I hope to see you next time. I'll send the EDs. What do I say? reason I show up each and every time is for three reasons. The very first one is to let you know that God loves you. Number two, so do I. Number three, the reason I show up each and every time is to be free. Who's, who's viewing pleasure? Who's viewing pleasure? Yours. So I hope to see you next time. That was a, that's a B. It's a B. On Cindy E. I ain't gonna say bye yet. <laughs> she playing real bad. But let me tell y'all. I had a tooth right here. Wisdom tooth. If you've uh been watching my channel, you know I went through my dental horror story. My dental horror story. If you have not watched my dental horror story video, go look it up. It literally says dental horror stories in the in the caption in the title of the video, okay? That wisdom tooth right here was starting to come out. And when I say it was starting to come out, I couldn't chew. I was chewing everything on this side of, this, of my mouth. I was still brushing it. But when I say I was in pain, I was in pain and the tooth was still attached. You know, when the tooth about to fall out and it'd be that piece of meat on the tooth. Had sis breath stinking. But soon as the thing started, you know what I'm saying, giving me pain and I had bit it. While I was eating, like, <laughs> I'm like, oh. You not seen it in the video. That's how long. You know how long it's been if you've been watching every video. But that whole time, as soon as it started, I started praying to God, Lord, please let this tooth fall out. No pain, no blood, Lord. No pain, no blood. Please let this tooth just come out. No pain, no blood. I was like, I need to get to a dentist. I have Medicaid. I need to find one. I got Medicaid. I need to find one. Right? People don't accept the dentist. The dentist don't accept the Medicaid around here, okay? So this whole time I've been playing, please, Lord, let the tooth fall out. No pain, no blood. Still kept eating. Tried to stay on this side versus this side. But you know what? One day, I tried to, you know, pluck it out. Like, started bleeding real bad. Start praying again. The other day, I was just sitting there moving it back and forth, back and forth. I was like, this too can come out. I said, Lord, please just let it come on out. Something told me to go back on there on this side with this finger and say, and I did that because I was trying to push it out that way. I did that. I just felt it drop straight into my mouth. No pain, no blood. In Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, for the blood he spilled on Calvary for me. No pain, no blood. What can you pray for and, and, and the Lord answer it? Get saved and find out. Peace!